I'm gonna be showing you three crazy Amazon FBA product research techniques that actually work. The first one is how I found my $40,000 a month Amazon FBA product. I'm gonna be showing you what my product is. I'm gonna be showing you exactly step-by-step -step how I found it, how I found manufacturers, all that. Then I'm gonna show you how I helped my girlfriend do her product research and helped her start selling on Amazon. And she recently quit her job because of the money she's making from Amazon. And the third and probably the most powerful product research technique I'm gonna share with you is the technique I use to find my next product. And this is a product that I haven't even released yet. Most other product research videos on YouTube are outdated. They're using techniques that just don't work anymore. But the techniques I'm gonna show you in this video still work right now. And I believe in them so much that this is how I found my next product I'm gonna be launching on Amazon. And I'm gonna be sharing my entire journey of launching that product, finding a manufacturer, how I actually go about launching the product product and all my results. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to follow my journey and actually see what it's like to launch a product on Amazon. But my goal with this video and every video I do is to be 100% honest, 100% transparent. But I do have a favor to ask of you. Treat this video as if you spent $1,000 on it because the things I'm about to teach you in this video have made me over a million dollars in sales. That's over $300,000 profit after you calculate and take off all the the product costs and all the different amazon fba fees and other costs associated with starting a business and let me start with that let me show you right now so in the last two years because the the reports only go back two years i'll show you my numbers here but i've done close to about eight hundred thousand dollars in just the last two years so let's go here let's go 2018 and let's click on there and these, this technique works. And so I just wanted to show you this. So yeah, in the last two years, it's been almost $800,000, but I've been selling for longer than just two years. Plus this is just one of my different Amazon FBA accounts. Let's actually get into it. Let me show you how to do product research. And I do things very differently than most people. I believe that you shouldn't just private label. I believe private labeling and wholesaling is dead. And I've, I've done other videos on that. I'll, I'll put a link to those videos. What I think you should do instead is create a unique product, something different from the competition, something better than the competition and sell that on Amazon. Ideally, you'd create what I call a passion product, a product that you you wish existed, something that does not yet exist, something that you wish existed, something that you really believe in and you really think will do well. That's the best way. If you wanna have huge success at selling something online, make a product that's better than everything else that's out there. So how did I find my product? Well. I was experimenting with the ketogenic diet, which is a high fat diet. I was really interested in paleo too, which is all about eating real food, nothing, nothing really processed. And one of the best ways to get high quality fat is from macadamia, coconut, cashew blended nut butters, like nut butter products basically. And when I went and I looked at keto nut butter, at the time, this was over two years ago, there was no products on the market that actually fit this need. And so I'm gonna blur these out, but this product, this product, uh, all these different products, they did not yet exist. So I was the first product like this on Amazon. And whenever possible, you wanna create a new category because when you create a new category, all the customers are gonna be yours. And then as competitors come in to the market, they're growing the entire pie. So this is a really important lesson. But now the big pushback is, how do you know your product's gonna sell? So one thing you can do to verify it is you can actually go over to Helium 10. And if you don't need Helium 10, I'm gonna explain how you can do this product research for free, but Helium 10 is helpful. It's basically Helium 10 will let you look and do keyword research and, and find out how much people are searching certain keywords. Now, as I mentioned, I'm gonna be doing a video very shortly on why you don't need Helium 10. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to look forward to that. But let me show you how it works, just so you get an idea. So basically, let's type in keto nut butter here. And this will let you know how much people are searching this exact phrase, plus it'll give you other phrases that are related to that, that people are searching. And what this will let you know is, is there a demand for your idea? So before I ever released a keto nut butter product, I wanted to know if there was demand. And we can see here, search volume of 1300. That's not bad, that's pretty good. And at the time, there was zero competition, which is a huge green light. 
Now, if you don't, and there's other keywords that they have down here, other things that are related. And so keep in mind, my product doesn't only rank for keto nut butter. It ranks for paleo nut butter. It ranks for keto snack. It ranks for all these different things. Now, if you don't want to pay for Helium 10, and I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but I do have the hookup. I, I have, uh, I'm an affiliate for Helium 10, so I have the hookup with them. I have negotiated like lower pricing for you guys. And if you want the best price you can find for Helium 10 around, I do have a link down below in the description where you can get Helium 10 at my discounted price. But you don't necessarily need Helium 10. You can use the Google Keyword Planner, which is free. And it's not as accurate because what this does is it tells you the search volume of key, a keyword on Google where Helium 10 tells you the search volume of a keyword on Amazon. And just to be clear for anybody that's new, the keyword is whatever you type into the search engine. So this would let us know that every day this is getting three, it'd get a hundred impressions a day basically, which is good. It's not great, but it's a starting point. And that's enough to let you know that there are other people that are product. Now, another trick you can do, and I'm not, I haven't even gotten into the advanced, like really ninja stuff. I'm going to be doing that next. These next few tabs, I'll be talking about that. But what you can do is you can type, actually, let's just type keto into Google. So that's a diet that I'm trying to go after. People on the keto diet are going to be interested in my product. And what you want to do is you want to see what does the trend look like? Now, I launched my product in around May, let's see, it was like May 2017, so right here. So at the time, I had seen that this is an upward trending product. Now, I believed in this product. I, I was doing the research. I saw that the trends were going, that a lot of the top influencers at the time were talking about the ketogenic diet, and I knew that society was a year or two, the society as like a whole was a year or two behind where my knowledge is. And this is the thing, when you understand a demographic, when you understand a product in a niche really well, you can predict the trends. And that's exactly what I did. And then when I launched my product, this is what ended up happening. Basically, the ketogenic diet went mainstream. It absolutely blew up. Now, still, even after we have all this data, that's not enough product research. How do you actually know that your product's gonna sell? So what I did, is I created an Instagram for my product before I ever launched it. This was just a test. Would people actually follow my Instagram? Because if they don't follow my Instagram, they're not gonna buy my product. Then on top of that, one thing I did that I highly recommend doing is I put a link in my bio, and when you clicked on the link, it was basically saying, hey, sign up to, to get a free sample, and on top of that, like sign up to get updates. And then what would happen is people would put their email address in there, and I'd have it linked to MailChimp, which is very easy to do, had it linked to MailChimp and I started collecting emails. And from there, what I ended up doing was having, I'd actually email every single person individually, have a conversation with them, really try to understand my target demographic. And I did something that I think is probably the most important thing that I did. If you take away one thing from this video, it's this. I started what I call a product launch group. And in it, I we can go all the way back to the, when I first started, this is, you know, 2017 January, when I first started this, I would ask the product launch group, which logo, I, I showed them a bunch of different logos, I ran a 99 designs campaign, which logo do you like? They would vote, they got involved, they were really interested in this process, that we picked the logo, and then I'd ask them things like, hey, uh, here's one packaging design, here's what my Kickstarter video looks like, I, I got them involved in the process, and what I realized is, is if people didn't give me their email, they're probably not gonna buy the product. If people don't join the product launch group, they're probably not going to buy the product. And all this stuff was testing. It was, it was research, validation, making sure that it's a good product. Now, the ultimate form of product research is doing the next thing I did, and this is another powerful technique, launch a Kickstarter. And I raised about $15,000 off Kickstarter doing this exact process, this step-by-step -step exactly what I showed you. And what that did is it validated. This was the ultimate product research. It let me know that people are willing to buy my product. And on Kickstarter, if you're not familiar with it, people give me money. It was $20 for a box of my product. This is my product right here. $20 a box. But the catch is they're not going to get it for three to four months. Now they're getting a discounted price. And in exchange, they're helping me to basically do a production run. Now a production run for me actually costs around $25,000, but I raised 15,000 
And I was confident now, after raising $15,000, I put $10,000, I cashed out my 401k, I put $10,000 of my own money into this product because I believed in it. Because I knew that if people were willing to spend $15,000, like if $15,000 worth of people were willing to pre-order my product, once it comes out on two-day Amazon FBA shipping, it's going to do really well. Now, a lot of people get hung up, okay, great, I, I've got this money, I'm ready to do a production run. How do I find a manufacturer? And Honestly, it sounds over simple. Type into Google whatever you're searching for. And right here, I just typed in nut butter manufacturers. And you can see, here's a company right here. Here's some other companies. And then get on the phone, start email, start emailing them, start calling them. And what's gonna happen is not every single manufacturer is gonna be right for you. But usually it's funny how they work. Even if they can't help you, they'll say, hey, I can't help you, but you know what? I know someone over at XYZ, you know, Bob over at Bob's Nut Butter can help you. Obviously, whatever your product is, is going to be different. The other thing that you can do, uh, this is for food products, but it works for all different industries. Find out what are the events, what are the expos or the conventions that specialize in whatever your niche is. And for me, Expo West is a big one. And so I went in and you can go into the 2020 exhibitor list and you can find manufacturers specifically for whatever product it is that you're doing. And if you wanted to, you could type in nut butter here or private label or manufacturers. But once you do that, this is what's really amazing about this entire process. You've built a community. You have an Instagram. You have a bunch of emails. You have a product launch group. And from there, what you can do is you can actually launch your product on Amazon. And what's going to happen is you email everybody. You let everybody know about it on Instagram. You let everybody know about it on in your product launch group. And what's going to happen is... When you launch your product, you're going to get a spike in sales from day one. You're also going to get a spike in reviews within the first week. Obviously, it takes a little bit of time for people to receive their products. Now, before I show you what I think is the most powerful Amazon FBA product research technique, let me show you the product research technique I use to help my girlfriend start selling on Amazon. And she's been selling one product on Amazon and was able to quit her job. She's making enough money off Amazon. She was able to quit her job a, a few months ago. And let's go through this process really quick. Basically, we typed in, we were, we were interested in learning more about wine. And I had the idea, okay, well, why don't we get some flashcards about wine so we can learn about it? So we typed in to, to Amazon, wine flashcards, and nothing at the time came up. Now, this is her product right here, but you can see if you scroll down, there was no other product that was just wine flashcards. There was like a wine game, there was some other stuff, but nothing that was exactly like what we wanted. So what we did after we had the idea is we did some keyword research. Now, the most powerful way to do this is using Helium 10. Again, you don't need to pay for Helium 10. I will be doing a video about that very soon, how to get all the different features that Helium 10 has to offer pretty much for free. But you type in wine flashcards here and this is powerful. It shows us that there's 94 other people a month searching for wine flashcards. Now, that may not seem like a lot, and it's not a ton, but that's 94 people looking for exactly the product that we wanted to create, and there was no product like that. Now, obviously, that's not the only keyword we're, we're going to be going after. We're going to go after things like wine gifts. We're going to go after things like wine party supplies, wine blind tasting, 443. There's so many other keywords that people are searching for that are related to our product. So again, we went over to Google Trends. We typed in wine into Google Trends, and honestly, it was pretty much, it, it wasn't growing super rapidly, but it was steady. At least it's not declining. So what she did from there, same process, went onto Instagram, had people basically sign up for an email, got a product launch group, got people excited, got people hyped up. She ended up launching a Kickstarter where she raised almost a little over $5,000. And that $5,000 alone would have been enough to do the first production run. Now, I ended up saying, hey, let's do a really big production run, which was a mistake. We This $5,000 was enough to probably do a production run of 400 units, which would have been enough to get us started. But I said, let's do a production run of 2,000 units, which was a lot more inventory than we probably needed. But that's the thing about a Kickstarter. 
If you're creating a passion product, a unique product, you're able to run a Kickstarter and you can raise enough money to actually launch your product, to actually get the production run. Now, how to find a manufacturer? Well, this one's a little bit different. And one thing a lot of people do is Alibaba. And see, the, the thing is, in the past, people would go to Alibaba and buy exactly the products that were on here and put on Amazon. What you need to do is you can contact the different manufacturers. So I typed into Alibaba flashcards. You can contact the different manufacturers and say, hey, I want to customize this product. I want to have custom designs, which for us, obviously, there was no product like this on the market before. So we wanted to do completely custom designs, a somewhat custom box, custom dimensions, all that different thing. And when she launched this product on Amazon, again, she posted about it on Instagram. She sent email follow-ups. She sent everybody in the product uh, launch group private Facebook messages. She posted about it in the Facebook. And what happened is she got a surge of sales from day one, a surge of reviews. And then Amazon says, hey, this is an amazing product. Let's put this to the top of the search results. And it just snowballs. The success snowballs from there. So now I want to talk about what I think is the most powerful product research technique that's out there. And this is the exact technique. I'm going to show you step by step how I found my next product, the product that I'm going to be selling on Amazon. And again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be sharing every single step of my journey. Now, before I share this method, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. Also, let me know, how do you do product research? So maybe there's some things that I could learn from you, or maybe we could all learn from each other. But the technique that I use to find my next product, and this is what I call a 2.0 product, is I looked at my competitors for my nut butter company. And here I'll show you, this is one of my biggest competitors, the owners of this company. So they came out about a year after me. They even offered at one point to, they, weren't, they were interested in either uh, investing in my company or buying my company outright. But then about a year later, they, they came out with this product. And this company, the two owners each have $100 million. They sold the previous company for $200 million. So they got a lot of money to spend. But still, on sales, I am doing better than them. You know, knock on wood as of right now. But when I looked, they came out with a bunch of different flavors. One flavor that was very similar to my product, but then a bunch of other flavors too. So what I did is I said, hmm, let's do some market research. And they released basically a chocolate version, a cacao version, and their cacao version was their best seller. Now, the problem is their product, in my opinion, is not very good. It has erythritol. It has stevia, I think, sweetener. It's got a bunch of, they claim that it's paleo, but it's not actually a paleo product because erythritol is not a natural thing. And I believe that you don't need to necessarily add sweeteners to make a product taste good. I think my product I've been doing a bunch of testing and, and research. I created a product that tastes good without adding sweeteners. Now, I looked at my other competitor, another major competitor, and their best-selling flavor, again, they have a similar product to mine, and their best-selling flavor was actually also a chocolate version. So this really was like a key to me to know that, wow, chocolate is the way to go. And one thing that you can do to test this is you can look at all these different products, and if you scroll down to the best-selling rank. You can go here, you can copy this, and Helium 10, you can use the Helium 10 extension to see sales numbers, or you can go to the Jungle Scout estimator, put in that best-selling rank, choose a marketplace, for me it's the United States, and choose the category, which is, in this case, it's grocery and gourmet food, and you can tell what the category is, it says right here, grocery and gourmet food, run the estimator, and it'll tell you how many sales this product's getting, and you can compare all the different, like in my case, I compared all the different flavors. So I figured out what flavor did the best. Now, this number is a lot lower than it actually is. I know this because I ran my product in, in the Jungle Scout estimator and it was right around that same number, but I'm actually doing about double the amount of sales. So I knew that this chocolate was their best selling flavor. I also looked at other keto chocolates and keto chocolate seems to be a really hot selling thing. So my original flavor was just macadamia coconut cashew. I decided to add cacao to it. Now, again, the key was I made my product better than the competitors. This company right here, their, their chocolate macadamia nut butter 
actually has sugar in it. It has dairy in it. So I did a completely all natural, like nothing but high quality ingredients. And that's the product that I'm going to be launching next. And here's the key. If you get one takeaway from this entire video right now is the perfect time to start selling on Amazon. And if you want to know exactly why right now is the perfect time to start selling on Amazon, I did this video, a link down below, watch that video. Trust me, there is no better time in history to start. And if you wait, you're going to kick yourself. If you wait a year or two years, you're going to say, man, I wish I would have started a few years ago. So thank you for watching this video. And remember, most importantly, to enjoy the journey.